Hey everyone, welcome back to the Lip Kit Laboratory YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a jelly balm. Our jelly lip balm base is a clear lip balm base that you can add sparkle or pigment to. You can really just create it however you like. You can leave it completely clear, or in this case we're going to be adding some liquid color and some powder color. First, I'm gonna start out with my glass beaker. I like to use a borosilicate glass beaker to melt the base down. These are very heat safe glass beakers, which is perfect for working on a stovetop, which is what we're gonna be doing today to melt this down. Each lip balm, standard lip balm tube, holds about 0.17 ounces or just over four grams. So what I'm doing now is weighing out four grams of the jelly balm base. It's not very much as you can see, but that is enough to fill one lip balm tube. I'm working on a flat top electric stove. If you have a hot plate, I would recommend using that. Or if you have an elect or a gas stove, excuse me, you could do a water bath to melt this down. You could also melt it in the microwave, but I don't recommend it because while you're stirring in your pigments, you want the lip balm base to stay warm and fluid. When it's fully melted, you can add your pigments. I added here three drops of coral, neon coral liquid color. I'm just gonna go ahead and stir that in. This base does want to set up quickly. That is why I like to leave it on the flat top stove so it stays melted as I'm stirring. I only added three drops. I'm still going for a very sheer lip balm. I'm not going for anything opaque. I just want a little bit of color in the balm itself and it to leave a little bit of a tint on the lips. I'm also adding here a mini scoop of our honey powder color. I really love this combination of colors here in this jelly balm. Because it is a clear lip balm base as opposed to a traditional lip balm base, which is opaque, the pigments really show through nicely in this base. So all that sparkle is very much notable where it might not be as notable in an opaque lip balm base. Once it's stirred in fully, I'm adding just two drops of flavor. For this one, I chose citrus punch flavor oil. So I'm gonna make sure that's stirred in as well. As you can see, because I'm leaving the beaker on the stove, everything is still staying fluid and melted. Now that it's all stirred up, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into my lip balm tube. Make sure your lip balm tube is twisted all the way down when you fill it up so you can fill it completely. I love watching those powder pigments swirl as the base sets up. I wanna be sure I'm getting out every drop of balm. Once you've poured it into your lip balm tubes, you can go ahead and let it firm and set up. If you want this to go quicker, you can put them in the refrigerator or the freezer. I'm just leaving it here on the stove top to set up. There she is. Here's our beautiful jelly balm all set up and ready to use. You can see the sparkles really show through nicely but you're still getting a very sheer coverage with this amount of pigment. You can add more to make it more opaque if you prefer. I wanted something very sheer, so that's what I got. You can still see a little bit of shine and a little bit of sparkle from the amount of pigment that we added here. And it really just looks gorgeous in the tube. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure you come back for more videos in the future.